Hey, what is up guys? So it is a rather miserable looking Thursday out there today. Uh, I don't know what the date is, but to be fair, this is probably going to come out a month later than I film it, so I probably shouldn't tell you what it is anyway. But today, I'm going to be doing another muscle food taste test day thing. I got sent a delivery the other day, and the last video that I did went down really, really well. People seem to enjoy it. And I think it's good to show people kind of the new products that are out there and whether they are worth having or not, okay? So I'm basically going to be doing this morning, which is the first thing I got out of the fridge, high protein ready to eat crepes. Are they crepes or are they crepes? I don't know. Going to be having these. So each one is 55 calories, 1.8 grams of fat, 5.9 grams of carbs and 3.3 grams of protein and there are eight in a pack. I thought there were only six, but there are eight in a pack. Yeah, I don't think you could probably go too far wrong with these. And I'm not sure whether to heat them up or not. I'm gonna heat them up. So we're gonna have one with blueberries and yogurt and one with some of this Epic Spreads s'mores. Now this wasn't from Muscle Food, this is actually from Protein Pick a Mix. We went to a workshop there the other day with Anna from Protein Pow and they basically gave us a goodie bag and they put this in it. Now I think we've had this before and it's really, really good. So I'm gonna put this in one of them, heat it up, it's gonna taste awesome. Other stuff I have to try today, which I will show you, so hopefully you watch the rest of the video, is we have the dark chocolate salted caramel pop shots. Now we've had the milk chocolate, not the dark chocolate. We have this raw chocolate naked bar, handmade in Cornwall. It's not protein at all, but it just seems to be like coconut oil, agave nectar, you know, all that hippie ingredients and stuff. Quite a lot of calories, I have to be honest, in this 60 gram bar, 333 calories in this tiny little bar, okay? That's why eating raw and all that good stuff isn't always good for you because there's a lot of calories, but I'm gonna try that out. And we also got scent, which I didn't actually ask for, Oriental Chicken Pad Thai with Rainbow Vegetables. So this is obviously Muscle Foods kind of ready meal, microwave ready meal stuff. I'm not sure how much these go for, but before I eat it, I will find out so I can tell you how much they are. And we also got a beef lasagna with roasted Italian style vegetables. So they come in these kind of, looks to be these small individual packets for the veg and the lasagna. So yeah, I'm gonna find out how much they are, but interesting, gonna have those for lunch. And then these, the high protein cookie sandwiches. So these are basically Oreos, except they can't call them Oreos, okay? Each one is 82 calories, 4.3 grams of fat, 4.1 grams of carbs, and six grams of protein with 1.5 grams of fiber. So they look really, really good. And yeah, these are brand spanking new. I'm looking forward to trying some of these. But I'm going to crack on with some breakfast now. So like I said, we're gonna have the crepes with the crepes, 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 I don't know what it is. With yogurt and blueberries and one with the peanut butter. So we'll show you me making them and then give you a verdict on whether they're any good. I feel a little bit flimsy. Maybe that's why they're only 55 calories. Two of these I'm putting in the microwave for the peanut butter and then the blueberry and yogurt one I'm going to keep cold. So won't you come and play? When it come to my people, they quote in every line. Strategy be the motion like almost every time. What it be if working like three shifts, wavy with the C shift, flipping like a remix, traveling with three strips, babbling but he sick. It's the thought to count like I just bought a cheap gift. Pain deeper, the rain teacher embracing. People are talking, make sure you win that conversation. Even if you ain't gonna take it personal, just understand it. It takes talent just to recognize talent. Palm trees down Steve's rocks. Do you like our Christmas tree in the back? Do you like it? I want to put it on. Oh. What's up with girls and Christmas? Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's heartwarming. Did you give me a drink? Oh. Such Christmas. <laughs> Many Christmases. I'm such a Scrooge. Yeah. Anyway, so we have our blueberry and yoghurt pancake and then our s'mores one as well. Like I said earlier, they, they feel a bit flimsy, but then I guess that's what crepes. Are they crepes or crepes? I can't work it out. It's crepes, isn't it? Is it? Well, I don't know. Is it? So you don't know either. <laughs> I guess so. 
the shit. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna try these and we'll let you know what they're like. From a place of homicide, you get pop for nothing. Lamborghini Cooper president, you watch or something. Got a house full of sick toys, I'm dying from stuff in Okay, so as far as crepe taste and consistency, it's pretty much bang on, but I don't think you can really go far wrong. It's not like it's a complicated kind of thing, and like normal crepes, they don't really taste of much anyway, so it's not dry, it's not unpleasant, it's just a crepe. And what really matters with the crepe is what you fill it with. So if you're someone that loves a Nutella crepe and that's like your thing, then I'd probably go ahead and buy this. It's not first on my list of things though. I mean, if, if, if I'm out and I can smell it, then I'll probably buy one. But <laughs> I wouldn't go out of my way, if that makes sense. I'm not actually sure how much these are. I will find out and I will put it up on the screen somewhere. You get eight of them in a pack, 55 calories each, about three grams of protein each. So they are not bad. They're good. They, they, they taste like crepes. They're, they're okay. What do you reckon? I think it tastes like a crepe. It's good. I like it. Yeah. I would give it an unbiased 8.5 out of 10. I would agree with that. Mm. I've got my own mind. <laughs> so just sitting on the sofa editing up some vlogs. So I'm actually finishing off editing, which Charlotte started editing the first day of the Body Power Tour. These are going to be long videos, but they're kind of a lot of content, really interesting, and just an insight into what I did on the Body Power Tour, but also what happens in India, because there is some crazy stuff. So if you haven't seen it already, go back, have a watch of them, because they are really, really interesting. It's quarter to one now. My belly is starting to rumble a little bit, which means I'm a greedy pig, and we are going to tuck into some muscle food ready meals, and probably some muscle food desserts. So as shown earlier, we have the Oriental Chicken Pad Thai with rainbow vegetables and the beef lasagna with roasted Italian style vegetables. And the macros on here are 484 calories, 17.4 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs and 60 grams of protein. So this is super duper high in protein, relatively low carb, but also relatively high fat. But as soon as we're sharing this, this should be good. Then we have the beef lasagna, and this is 474 calories, 16 grams of fat, 35 grams of carbs, and 40 grams of protein. So this one is a little bit more moderate on the protein and carbohydrate side of things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook these up and try both of them together and give you a review. Okay, so cooking instructions on these bad boys. It is microwave only. Remove cardboard sleeve. Do not pierce film before heating. Place the pan Asian chicken tray in the microwave and cook for 30 seconds. Chicken. Done. Then add the pad thai noodle tray and cook both trays together for a further two minutes. That's not actually that long, like two and a half minutes to cook these. So relatively quick, I am impressed with that. But I have to say for 400 odd calories, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot Right, so I've taken them out and it doesn't feel that hot, but the kind of packaging has disintegrated a little bit in the microwave. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. I put it in for the right amount of time, so let's just see how it is. Right, so on first look and smell, it smells pretty good, but it looks like the noodles they're using are almost like the protein pasta noodles. So they're very small, so I'm just gonna grab one here. Most of them are like that long. I don't necessarily mind because I find it really annoying when spaghetti is really, really long, but I'm not sure it's gonna taste like normal pasta, but it just doesn't seem like a lot of food. Like considering there's like 220 calories in each bowl, there's not a lot in there. And I'm also not sure why they are so high in fat, but maybe the sauce is amazing, but I'm just struggling to work out why they're so high in fat considering it's chicken breast and noodles. You ready? Ready. Okay, so first impression, the sauce is actually good. It's kind of a little bit sweet, but then pad thai is. It doesn't taste very fatty, which again, makes me wonder where all the fat is coming from. The chicken's a bit dry. Do you find that? It is a little bit, but the sauce is really, really creamy, so the fat will all be from the sauce. Yeah, but this again, there's not loads of it, I don't know. I just always think that I could make a decent sauce without that many calories. I did make a decent sauce without that many calories the other day. Here we go. 
I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, to be fair, the sauce is pretty good. But the noodles, there's no real bite to them. They just kind of disintegrate in your mouth. Do you find mm -hmm. that? So yeah, chicken's a bit dry. Sauce is good. Noodles, they're not unpleasant. They're just not enough of a bite to them. I like them a little bit less cooked. Al dente. Al dente. <laughs> so overall, the taste is good. The chicken's a little bit dry and there's not a whole lot of food. I would give this a seven out of 10. I think you can get better microwave meals. Yeah, seven out of 10 based on the macros. Mm. So we're gonna finish this and then move on to the lasagna. So next on the chopping block is the beef lasagna with roasted Italian style veg. And this one, like I said, it's got more moderate calories, 474, 16 grams of fat, 35, 36 grams of carbs, and 40 grams of protein. And something that I didn't mention, they have this little kind of bump at the back that says, eat like nature intended. Ingredients you can pronounce, only natural colorings and flavorings, only natural sugars, no artificial trans fats, no soy lecithin, and no MSG. So. If you care about that stuff, then this might be a better option. Okay, beef lasagna with Italian style vegetables. So it looks like sweet potato, some courgette, pepper, asparagus looks like. Let's give it a go. Cheesy, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it's like double cheese on top, isn't it? It's mm. like ricotta and... Yeah, so it looks like it's got like um, kind of a, like a whiter soft cheese, like a ricotta or something. And then on top you have your traditional, would it be cheddar? cheddar? Mm. Like a cheddar. It's really cheesy, tastes good. I'd say the meat's a bit thin. Like there's it's not really- It's a bit soft, there's no chunks. There's no bite to it. So unlike the noodles, there's no bite to that. I think you get that a lot with the ready meals, don't you? They tend to be like very, very fine mints. Mm. Really. With the pad thai noodles that we just had, that's probably something you could knock up pretty quickly. Whereas something like this is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to make yourself. It so does. if you really like lasagna, this would be a good idea because it means you don't have to faff around. It's a single portion. You don't have to worry about like buying all the different sauces, cheeses, pasta sheets and stuff like that. It's just kind of already done for you and decent macros actually, like better macros I think on this. More balanced. Because they're more macros. balanced, yeah. like balanced protein, balanced carbs, balanced fat. It's much, much better. And I think it, I really like the taste as well. In terms of like compared to a traditional lasagna, maybe like an seven and a half, eight. Yeah. I mean, I think considering it is like a healthy lasagna, I'd give it like an eight. If you're expecting to have it like a proper oily, chunky lasagna then you're going to be disappointed but mm. good taste it's just the texture's not really there i don't think and it comes with plenty of veg like a good selection of veg so you're getting all your micronutrients in so i think on the whole i would give this an eight out of ten based on the fact that there's a lot more going for it there's more nutrition it's more balanced it can take away from having to make it yourself and i think the whole this whole fitness thing you want to make it the easier the better and this is something that you may actually crave as well. Whereas mm -hmm. like pad thai chicken noodles, one, you could probably make it yourself. And two, it's probably not something you're like, oh, I really want to eat that. Whereas like lasagna, people be like, yeah, I really want to eat lasagna. It's like mm -hmm. comfort food. I would give it an eight out of 10. But if you're comparing it to like an actual lasagna, it's probably like a seven and a half. What do you reckon? I reckon it's an eight out of 10. Because I think you can't really compare like healthy meals to the real thing. Mm. It's always going to fall a little bit short. But if it can hold its own, then I think it's good. I think it's done. 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 Okay, so main meals done, main lunch done, and we're on to desserts now. Now, all that stuff that I reviewed this morning, so the crepes, crepes, whatever you want to call them, someone comment, because I have no idea, and the two ready meals, they were sent without me asking. But this was sent specifically by Callum. He said that he was going to be sending me these for a specific review. To give you an insight into what they are, they are basically Oreos, but they can't call them Oreos. 82 calories, 4.3 grams of fat, 4.1 grams of carbs, 1.5 grams of fiber, and six grams of protein. So definitely much better than a normal Oreo. You get three in a pack. Not sure how much they are. 
I'm not sure how much any of this stuff costs because I didn't buy it, but I will post it up on the screen so you know. Now we are going to taste these cookie sandwich things. But first, I need to put it onto my Instagram story. If you're not following me on Instagram, at Harry Ranson and at Lottie Lifts. Okay, they feel solid. They're big as well, like they're thick and heavy. They're really big. Which is... Good. Really, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Aftertaste, like good, like you get it at the end. Do you get it at the end? Yeah, like. Yeah. Back of the it's one of those back of the tongue ones where you like, it doesn't really taste of anything, and then it's like boom, hits you. Taste is really, really good. A little bit dry, like the this kind of brownie bit is a little bit dry. It's very typical of like a baked protein, good, and just a little bit dry. Yeah, I think because they obviously try and potentially like reduce fat, or just because of the kind of the binding and stuff like that. I don't really know. You know more about bacon than I do. That's why. Um, yeah, that's why. And probably because of the use of protein powder and stuff, a little bit dry, but actually that taste is really, really good and really not rich. far off an actual Oreo. Wow. I would give these, for the macros, for the taste, texture, size and everything, 8.5 out of 10. One mind. You've got to say something different. No, I think we should have marking cards because it seems like I'm copying you, but I'm not. So yes, from a value perspective, I'm not entirely sure, but just from a taste texture and compared to a normal Oreo perspective, then yeah, 8.5. Okay, so it's last taste test of the day. It's going to be this raw chocolate naked bar handmade in Cornwall. And I'll admit, I picked this up because I was like, ooh, chocolate. And then I realized upon opening it that it's some sort of like hippie kind of chocolate where it's just like, just all natural stuff. And I don't, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's one of those things where like, this is relatively small, okay? 60 grams, yet in this whole thing, there's 333 calories, so relatively calorie dense. Fortunately, I share these things, so it's not actually that bad when you're sharing it. So we're gonna try this and I'll let you know how it is. Okay, so I'm opening it and it's kind of like, it looks like fudgy, you can see how it's obviously like, looks like it's melted. It feels kind of like a brownie. It looks like a, like a brownie protein bar thing. I was expecting it just to be chocolate. For you? Yeah, it's not... What is it? So yeah, it's basically like coconut oil and cocoa powder and a bunch of other stuff. It's like a sticky brownie. But it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit thing. weird. Well, it's not chocolate, is it? Mm. But <laughs> it's not a chocolate bar. <laughs> It's weird, like, you go to, like, bite on it, this is, like, you literally bite straight through it. It is like a brownie without flour. Mm. It's like fudge, but less chewy. Yeah, I can't really explain what it is. Mm. It tastes really good, like, it's really good, but it's not as, I'd say, maybe as satisfying as a chocolate bar. Mm. The flavours are there, but then, so are the calories. <laughs> I suppose if you were looking to get something that was chocolatey, satisfy the chocolate craving it. You weren't bothered about calories. It was simply like, I'd rather eat the same calories, but from better foods, then that would be a really good option. Mm. I'm not sure how much it is. Obviously you pay for it, like anything that uses kind of more whole natural ingredients, you pay for it. But that, it is good. It does taste really good. And in terms of taste, I'd give that like a good nine out of 10, I reckon. I agree. Nine out of 10, but the fact that that's probably super duper expensive and it is still relatively high calorie, I'll probably give it a 7.5. Like it drops quite a lot for that. But that's only because personally, I'm not that fussed about whole natural stuff because I, I eat enough fruit and veg and I eat enough whole food. And the fact that it's probably super duper expensive. But I think for the target market, genuinely that is a decent product. Like if you're vegan and you want chocolate, like that is good. But just don't expect the same bite as you get a normal chocolate. But that is going to conclude the review for today. So hopefully you enjoyed my unbiased review and Charlotte's unbiased reviews as well. I do get sent this stuff from Muscle Food, but I don't bullshit on any of my